Hello, I'm Deborah King. I'm a spirit artist and medium. I want to show you how to draw because many people can't draw at all. Many of you can, but you're in my classes. Well, I want to show you how to draw so you know how to practice and you can have this recording to help you to learn how to draw. You can watch it as many times as you want to and the more you watch it, the better that you will get. It's about enjoying this journey. Not to worry about it. And if you want to have the help of the spirit well to help you to draw, then just call your loved ones in to help you to support you and bring you that strength and that power. But also ask your spirit guides to come down to help you. We all have a spirit guide that has the mediumship. But as soon as you want to draw, you also will be given a spirit artist guide that will help you to draw. Sometimes you have to train your guides that are up in the spirit world to work with the mediumship. And sometimes you have lucky enough to have a guide that's already drawn. And then they will really help you to achieve your true goal. And that is receiving the information and drawing at the same time. So I'm going to turn my camera over so you can see the paper. I've done the lines already. It's better if you can draw the lines first. And I'll explain them when I put the camera onto the paper. I'm going to do that now. Okay. Thank you for all being with me to learn to draw. Right, there we go. Let's get the camera in line. Make sure that it is lined up for me. I'm going to come a little bit over. As so you can see, I've already drawn the lines. These are where the eyes are going to be. I've already mapped them out. But the eye gap here is the same gap here. And it's also the eye goes here. But this line here is in line with the, where the corner of the eye will be. And this is where the nose is. This is where that curve goes. And it's between these two bottom lines is where the mouth goes. I left enough gap here. Not quite enough to do the ears on this side. But on the other side, I can put the ear on because I've got the border. But that is really, I should have made it a bit smaller. But this is about drawing the face, really. So this is where we start. First, you have to have the little corner bit of the eye. And then you pull it over like that. And then you have one underneath. Nice, soft arch. That can be made bigger later. As long as you have this corner bit here, because this is the important part, is having that bit here that you can put the corner of the eye in, because we all have that corner. We all have that circular bit here, which is where the, it's almost like this, it's almost kind of like the little corner bit there. Okay. And then yeah, in the eye, it doesn't always actually touch the actual the eyelid. Catch on the back. There we go. So if you can have this like right this, all the eyes always have this top part up top there okay and it's on the same here this is guideline really just gonna get my rubber I do have a rubber handy a patchy rubber is best really but I have to dig my rubber out because I've just laid it somewhere. So it just gives me using a normal rubber. I mean, if you only have a normal rubber, you can rub the lines out. It ain't going to really matter though because you won't see them and stop putting the shade in them. It also has an eyeball. But it also has a little bit of light here too. So you can put a bit of a light on it, which will be when the light hits the face. The eyeball, and then down from here, this is where the curve is. 
to do the actual nose part. And then that comes down like that. It's got like a little bit here. And then we can wipe that part out. And then here, down from the eyes, this bit here, there's almost like a corner bit here that we just put the markings there already. And then here is where the mouth curve bit is. There's always that curve bit. There's always that curve bit there. Unless you're unlucky enough, we probably we have a cleft lip. We're lucky enough we can get fixed. But while you're drawing a spirit connection, you may be drawn to a facial defect. But that you know is proof is a communicator. So if you're drawing something that doesn't quite actually go right, then take note of that. Because there is a reason for that. At this corner here, diagonally across is where the eyebrows finish. And it comes down to about there. It's always wider here. And it comes down narrow right there. It's the same for this side. There's always enough to get there. And it comes around. And this one's frowning. <laughs> well, it's come down a bit. Actually, that's not too bad. Now, that is the underlay bit of how the face is done. And there's always... I've gone a bit too close here. You always got to have the, the chin bit here. I made this line a bit too. As long as you've got that, the face part sorted. So it's a bit wider here underneath the chin. And then it comes up at the side. And then it comes up here, straight up. And it's here and under the nose where the ear starts. And it's at an angle, so the ear will finish. You can't actually see. The ear will finish in line with the eyebrow. It's where the eyebrow finishes. I could do it a bit better the outside. But this is where the ear comes up. It's always about the same sort of gap between this part here and the ear starting. And the hair will come down there normally anyway. Not everybody sees the, the ear. It's not just covered with hair. Unless it's a man, then it will come down here. But that is actually how to draw the face. Now the fun bit is coming in to doing the actual colours. And start with that. With me, I do pastels. But it's about putting the first colour on. Oh, you haven't covered up the eyebrow because you can still see through it. And then you put a lighter pink on it. It looks a bit bright, so don't worry now. Because you can dull it down with a white. So please do not worry about that. That's my white. Oh, that's my white. That's my white. It's I left it over there. Right now, this is where the skin colour comes in. It turns it right down nicely. You put it on, and then you can rub it on in. And you will see that skin colour coming. It's like it has the other colours that you get the other different shades. There's plenty of white there now. Give it a good old part. And as you're rubbing onto the paper, it's a different with the contact. You'll start to feel the connection become stronger because it's all about 
with pastels, that's what I find is best, is having that link to doing this, you bring that spirit connection forward. And it really makes a difference, bringing that contact closer, if you use the breath as well. No more the access. Oh. You still may need a bit more white because it still looks quite pink to me. But it's not all pink everywhere. We're going to have the shades of white. And normally with the shade, you have one side shaded and one side brighter. So this is the lighter shade. So as you're feeling onto this, we'll do this bit a bit shinier. And under the chin there a bit shinier. The one side a bit less pink. Actually, it's probably more of a better colour of the skin, actually. <laughs> there are lines in here, so. so now I'm mixing it all in. <sighs> and then level the access off again. Right, we're going to do brown eyebrows. So this is where the eyebrows are supposed to have. Pencil, that's good. Come on. Put in the eyebrows. So start the picture off. Get all the main features in. And you can smudge here. I'm using pastel pencils. Another added goodbye is the actual charcoal pencils, which are brilliant. And you can shade this down a bit. You can bring this down, make that more shaded. And you want to use this this way, and you can blend it in. So it gives you that. Blended part, okay. And this is where the nose is. This is the important part. And this also has a bit of shading here. There's always a line that comes off there. And this is where the actual wrinkles go with the when you smile a lot. You always get like wrinkle lines, which we all have. Now we come to the eyes. It's about having this fine line here. This might shade in a minute, it might go a bit dark in a minute. It might even disappear. <laughs> Sometimes it sort of blends into the pastels. Better to have a charcoal pencil. This is a charcoal pencil. This will work. It's nice to blend it in a bit. We're going to give him, we might not give him blue eyes for a change. We might even give him green eyes for a change, but I think we'll go for blue eyes. We might have a blonde hair today as well. But whatever your hand is drawn to in your spirit portraits, then go with that colour, do not fight it. This is the spirit people, the loved ones and your guides that are guiding you to do that colour. So just use what you are directed to use. That is most important. Otherwise, you'll be doing a dark-haired girl, which is what I had done myself before now, when I was first starting. So always follow that 
that is within you. Do not fight it, because that is part of the actual connection. And then this, and this is the shading part. There's always a top eyelash, a top eyelid. This is the eyelid, and it's always there. Okay. Okay, and there's also like always a darker part to it. It's not always dark all the way across. We're going to have darker parts in other bits, but always smudge it in because it, that's how it is. It, it, it's, it's not like it's not going to always match. So do not worry about that. And with your age, you've always got like little lines from our eyes. This one has to be like very faint. They don't have to be always strong. But we always have these lines going over. So even the younger person has a few lines. But this is going to be somebody a bit older. And this is the bottom line of it, which is not as well hidden. So I would have liked that. The eye is not always white, it's an off colour. The whites are the eyes. So always remember that. She might be okay. So I've got my cat on my lap, sorry. Um this is where the nostrils are. Now this is the bit there. Now there's always a, a gap between that part of the eye and that bit of the eye. We all have this bit here. It's not actually well seen from a distance. But if we was doing the man, there'd be like little small ones. They don't start right up close, it's like a little bit away. But we all have eyelashes. Okay. You can brush that down a bit, there we go. And we're going to come back to the nostrils, because the nostrils have a darker bit here. And it's always darker here. Once that's always more shadowed, you can have that more shadowed, that would be fine. It's good to have that blending bit here. It's always up here. And actually you have a little shadow coming down. That's not got to be deep. It's all too shadow. Okay. Because even a light shadow this side. But one side lasts, not as dark as the other. You need to have that shadow there. Okay. And this is where we make this part here more pronounced. As we all have that little bit here. And that corner bit is pink. Okay. So the off colour pink, so that is always there. We're now gonna to come to the mouth. Is that taken over here? So when my cat's just fidgeting. This is where the mouth is. I am doing a just an easy 
close them out. It's a little bit harder to do, but if you're going to have teeth, never put the teeth lines in with a dark pencil. Always keep them very toned down because you don't have teeth standing out. And if you're doing a drawing, you don't want the teeth to be too prominent. Okay. What's the outline of the mouth is thing? There's always a bit of a shadow underneath the mouth. So we can come into the mouth. There's always a bit of a... It's good to put a bit of a shade at the end as well. Yeah. So now that is good. Now we do have a bit of a shade here. Right, now that's the face done. Now what I'd like to show you now is how to put some of the shading in. So this side is the shaded side. So I'm going to put a rather light brown. This is a rather light brown. And it comes all the way down one side. You do it at this side too, but not so prominent. You don't need quite so much. Okay, and it's always got like a bit of shadow here. A bit of a shadow in the corner of the eyes. And then the top bit there. There's always a bit of a, <clears throat> a shadow on the chin here. There's always a bit of a shadow. Bring it right into that corner there. Don't miss these corner bits out. Otherwise, it shows. Wash it all into the forehead. But I'll blend it in so that it completely blends in. It's supposed to brush it inwards and then it blends it in gradually, spreading that colour outwards. Okay. So that's how you do the skin tone. And if you have a bit more of a rosier cheeks, add a bit more of a pink to it, but not too much. You haven't got to add a lot. If you add too much, it's very hard to go back. So add a little bit at a time until you have it to the colour that you want it to be. So this is the more rosier side. This is more with the colour on it, with the, the lighter side. There's always a lighter side. There's always a darker, a darker side. Where the shade from the window will always be. You're never going to have a completely whole face of darkness. It's all going to have a lighter side. Right, we're now going to add the hair. I'm going to do blonde hair. So I'm going to start with a nice yellow. And it's about coming down. Bring this colour down. Just move, just move the camera on. So you can see the colour coming up. So bringing it down. In a downward motion. Bring this downward. I'll leave this in a minute because it's uh, not sure what we to do with the top part. This is the fringe bit. And it's never just one colour. There's always a few tones to it. We'll add a few tones to it. And a little bit of black. If that's black or not, I think it's black. There we go. Not too much work because we can add that afterwards. So blend it in. Then we've got back of this blonde colour with the lines in. Okay. Let's 
Ja, was da drin stand. So, so. Und da Marsch. Also, oh, es kam da ein bisschen weit her. Und wir kennen Top of the Ear, das ist no problem. So, bring it down. Bring it down. And even sometimes I have the hair going across the face. Don't be scared to put the hair going across the face. Put it all the way down. Okay, blend it all in if you want to do that. You can blend it in first, then add the color if you want, which works just as well. Now, the neck's not got enough color on the neck. Let me show you the neck's been a bit left down. So, we put a bit of color here. And then the lighter pink on top. You can just blend it in. And you can't have a white neck, you see. You can do the side first. With the same color brand that you've used for the side. Let's bring this down here. As you bring it down. And the same for the other side. And there's a bit of the black. Let's bring it in. I would make it lighter by putting in more, there was more white in there. So don't turn it too much till it's too dark. Really pretty drawing. But now that we've got blonde hair, we need to have blonde eyebrows. But you can do it the same colour as the hair. Because sometimes actually the communicator that you've got changes halfway through. But you could try if you can to keep to the same communicator. But sometimes you may have a bit of two people in one picture. That has happened to me a few times, so do not worry because a lot of the time the people that you're drawing with for they don't like the idea of having two loved ones in the same picture and they can see the person that's in the picture. So now we have the main detail, we can put some more of the detail into the pencil, into the hair. So we're starting on one side first, just on this side first. Now you can start to put some lines in with a pencil. Put some lines in and then just do rub it all in like this, blend it in. And it, normally they have a bit of a kink to the hair. You're not be worried about putting the kink in. Make a nice squiggle. I need someone like me that has dead straight hair. <laughs> have completely straight your hair then it doesn't go anywhere <laughs> if you're lucky enough to have curly hair which is a nice added bonus now we're going to drop the pencil and it just disappeared nothing needs okay i found it And then we need to do the other side. I'm just trying to get this camera right again. I don't got need that over there. Do the other side there again. Well, now this side is about bringing that color in. Okay. 
Let it down the glass. Okay. And we've also got to make the chin a bit more prominent. So I've got the, where the actual chin actually is. Oops, I should really have wiped my hand first because I've got the other one there. But not why. And bring it up a little bit. Because this is where we need the brown again. I don't want black to really use black on this bit because it's it's a bit too harsh. If you use the pencil, I'll put a bit of shade in here. Because it's it's gotta have a bit of a darker bit there. And actually underneath here there's a bit of a shading bit. There's always a bit more darker at the neck area. She's also looking even darker on that darker side. This is where we can use the charcoal pencil again. Just at this bit here to make it a bit darker. You'll be amazed how much it makes it stand out. It comes down here. We could have a bit more of a darker bit there, but don't make that too dark. We've got a bit of shade on the chin too. So. It works out just nice. And it's the same on this side. Just where the head is when the uh, otherwise you want to be able to um get a bit of shadow from when the hair changes and you can blend it in, don't worry too much. Not blending it in, making it a bit more shaky than one side and the other then. Otherwise, this side is the darker side, so it has to be darker. Just a little touch bit darker on the front. Clean down the face. So, the right way is there. The hair came down here. So you need to make it stand out of it. Right, so as you can see it. It's not going to be one layer, is it? So you need to make it like it's got a few threads of hair there. It sort of gives it a bit of body that way. And as you come to the fringe, Fringe has always got a bit more body here. Where the hair's coming down. It sort of meets in the middle there at the end. Let's have a bit of a shape here. We've all got this like bit here, it's like a, a bit of an eyelash thing there. So the eye comes down, we've all got, everybody's got like big dark eyebrow, um, darker eye bits here. And we've all got that line coming underneath our eye. Some of them are like little lines. They haven't got to be big lines, just little faint lines. Just so you can see. Like this. We've all got these little bits of lines here. Crown lines where we move our face. 
Cuma Ibn Arabi atau Syahid yang bi'an nama ini Let me come to the nouns Let's take the soft picture It's also like a bit of a It's all like a, a, a down bit in the nouns Now it's not got to be well Prominent It's just about making it Circular Some noses are quite bulbous Some noses are not and this is where we also do the shading bit there. Make sure it's not too dark. It's always a bit more shaded as well underneath the nose. It's more shaded on one side than the other. So that's okay to have that. It just makes it more normal if you've got that shading on one side. And then a bit darker. So there you have how to do a face. And this is how she actually looks. Sorry. When she's finished. <laughs>